coming out here and spending the day with us as as we have this sort of celebration for Geronimo is not only honoring him but the people that have been have been here in the Geronimo days that had died here. <laughs> And the prayer that I said is a prayer that we be, that will stand all of us in unison in our prayers. That our faith will come together. Our non God can bless us. The same way we ask for prayer each and every day. And for us to be humble, to stand together, to be that strong, to make this difference in our future. I pray that Kaunan God can bring us all together for this purpose that we're here today is for healing. We are not trying to make a point in this day and time to let everybody know who we are. We are here so that we can make a difference in our children's future. Next we will have the history, which will be read by Harding Burdett, Paradox District Council Member. And as we continue today to commemorate this uh, memorial, is this significant in our eyes to recognize that there has to be something here to visit, to tell the people and tell the story of what had happened, so that our children will understand that. Today, we commemorate this day a powerful day for all Apaches. We're very few, but we are very proud. We're indigenous to this region, and we'll continue to fight the fight for our children, for our way of life. Okay, next we have the um, purpose and reason to heal by Mr. Chair, by our chairman, Mr. Winsler Nosey Sr. Yeah, Thank you, all of you, for, for being here. We have a lot of great speakers today that are speaking from the heart. But I want to say, in a very short way, I guess, as, as I can, I want to thank uh, the Tribal Council. I want to thank the people who are around me. I want to thank Mr. Stevens, who took the long journey with me. I want to thank all the tribal leaders and leadership that I met throughout my journey. And it ended in Fort Sills. We started out to Camp Verde, to Tonto, to the White Mountains, to Muscalero, to Hickory, and to Fort Sills. At the end of the trip, what we said was, our journey is done, and we know what we need to do. And that's to tell the truth. We have to tell the truth to our, our children. We have to tell why so many times we disagree, why we argue among each other, why we say the things that we shouldn't say. It has to go back to the parent. It has to go back to being a father, a mother, a grandmother, grandfather, uncles, aunts. Because that's where the true values of what life is all about is taught. And at the end of our journey, it just fell right back to them. That we're not doing our jobs as people. And we have to look at ourselves before we start criticizing. What did we do for the day? And how did we do it? And were we good to people? Or were we not good to people? Those are basics, basic things in making people better. But it's a heavy tool and a strong tool to make great leaders in the future. But this trip that we went on told the story of what we needed to do. So we are healing. We are turning that chapter to a new day, to new relationships, so that we can build our tribe and build all tribes. But I really commend the leaderships of the other nations, other Apache nations, because they opened their doors with open hearts and made the statements that needed to be made, and that was the truth. And that's what brings us here today. Healing. The images that you're going to see here are people of us. It reflects you. It reflects you as a woman. It reflects you as a man. It reflects you as a child. 
Because behind all these great leaders stood great people, and that's who you are. Great people. We have a purpose in life, and if we don't realize that purpose, then everything is lost. But all, all in all, this would never have been done if we didn't pray, if we didn't believe, and if we didn't meet the people that we needed to meet along our journey. And I really commend the Tribal Council because we knew that there were going to be a lot of criticisms. We knew that from all over the place, people were going to say things, good and bad. But like everything else, it has to come to pass. And when it comes to pass, then there's healing. True healing. Because we have to stop being a victim of what happened to our families before us. But if we live in ignorance and denial, we're never going to get better. Because so many times as tribal leaders here know, we see all the statistics of violent things increasing. But where is our morals? Where is our integrity? Where is our prayers? There's no reason why tribal governments can modify their government to fit the needs of their people. And this is what we're truly doing for the ones that yet to be born. But it would never have been able to be done if the older people never share their stories and sometimes that's the biggest problem we have is great teachers teach and share and are patient but if we're not sharing and teaching and aren't patient then nobody's learning our kids would not know what this is about so I commend all you guys being here today because this is going to carry us the next 50 years the next 100 years and we leave that up to our children to build on this so that they will always know who they are. But most importantly, know that they got relatives apart all of, over this place, from Arizona to New Mexico to Oklahoma, all us Apaches. And so the tribal leaders are here from the different tribes of Apaches. I want to thank you because it means so much for me to see you here. And I tell you, this wasn't an easy journey, as, as you know. It was not an easy journey. But it was a very spiritual and educated journey. And it really brought everything home. So for my family, I thank them for bearing with me. I'd like to thank the Tribal Council for bearing with me. And I'd like to thank the tribal leaders that have all come here and bearing with me together. Because we're all one family. Shiki, eh? Shiki. That's what we hear all the time. You are my relative. It's time that we start acting like one and acting like a family. And I guarantee us Apaches will share something with the world. And that's how to take care of it and how to save what's left. So, yeah, everybody for coming out. I, I thank you. I thank you. And let's give her a round of applause. She's doing a great job. So let, let's let her know she's doing good. So, yeah, thank you.